Saying his word has become my religion. Say that. Saying his word has become my religion. I challenge anyone to have a problem with that. Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrud. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 17. Charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living god who gives us richly all things to enjoy the bible says you're not supposed to trust in uncertain riches but trust in the living god worldly people have a trust in riches they have a trust in money and it has become their religion but we're not supposed to do that we're supposed to trust in the living god and he is our religion a belief that the living god gives us richly all things to enjoy and yes all the things that people would have believed and trusted in and had a religion in money for we believe trust in and have a religion in the living god for those exact same things we trust in we believe in the living god all things he gives us to enjoy they go together living god and all things to enjoy now if he wasn't able to give you all things to enjoy he wouldn't have said that about himself or that we should trust in him for it all things to enjoy must include money and god having the ability to get money to us so you can enjoy it well i've come to this place of knowing the living god i know who he is the living god is the holy ghost he the holy ghost is god in the earth today he is the one that jesus sent to be with us he is the only god in the earth today get that straight and not only have i come to know that he is the living god the holy ghost i've come to know how to walk with him in the earth and that's by the saying and speaking in agreement with his word the saying of his word the speaking of his word when i'm doing that i am beginning my walk with him this is my religion knowing the living god and walking with him in the earth by saying words my belief my faith my religion is in this him the living god the holy ghost giving me richly all things to enjoy that's my religion that's my faith the holy ghost is god in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words this is markedly different than what most people are doing or that most people believe or frankly what i used to think believe and do many of you would agree this is not the way you walked with god before this is new in fact i've effectively switched religions oh you mean you're not a christian well no it's more about what you don't do that makes me not like you you don't worship the holy ghost as god nor do you walk with him in the earth by saying words as a christian and it's not that i don't hold almost all of the same beliefs but you don't worship him 
and you don't walk with him and that makes me not like you you see a uh, switch flipped when i began worshiping the holy ghost and a light came on a light that wasn't there before because the the switch wasn't flipped something changed to where i can see and experience life in a way that i never did before because i wasn't worshiping him as god and i wasn't walking with this living god in the earth and having him richly provide me with all things to enjoy and i will never go back make no mistake about it i am selling you on this i'm proselytizing you on this new religion of knowing the living god and walking with him in the earth i believe this i do this i'm proof that this is a thing say this is a thing it may not have been a thing before but it's a thing now i am a holy ghost worshiper i worship the holy ghost and i'm experiencing all of the benefits that come through that vehicle of worshiping him and walking with him as god in the earth today the living god giving me richly all things to enjoy this is my religion well i worship him and serve him and he gives me richly all things to enjoy sounds pretty good doesn't it luke 4 verse 8 says thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only shalt thou serve that sounds like if you were to do that verse of scripture that would be your religion if you had to qualify something as a religion that verse of scripture would be really good at describing what a religion is right you worship the lord your god and him only serve if i do that worship the lord my god and him only serve that would be somebody's religion that would be my religion that's my religion i worship the lord my god i know that the lord my god is the holy ghost he's god in the earth today i worship him and i serve him by speaking in agreement with his word and he gives me richly all things to enjoy if you do that that's a religion so back off i'm being scriptural the bible talks about finding things finding truth jesus said seek and you will find i have found this that the holy ghost is god in the earth today and i have found how to walk with him and that is by saying words i know whom i worship john 4 verse 24 says god is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth sounds like if i did that that would be my religion are you here god is a spirit and they that worship him him god the spirit I worship him he's a him God the Spirit must worship him I must worship him him who him God the Spirit it's my religion I worship him God the Spirit God is the Spirit they that worship him they that that's me and you we worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth in spirit because he is a spirit and in truth is the speaking of truth he spoke truth we speak truth we worship him god the spirit in spirit and by speaking 
truth we see it again and again this religion of worshiping God the Spirit and walking with him by speaking in agreement with his word this is my religion and I have found it say I've found it now if you have to find it it means it wasn't just readily evident we know this by the fact that the church has been bumbling around without finding this for 2,000 years and yet it's plain it's plain it's real plain when you finally see it when you find it proverbs 4 verse 20 my son attend to my words incline thine ear unto my sayings why your ear unto his sayings sayings are things that are said is this too difficult sayings are things that are said those are words that are spoken and you incline your ear to that for they 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 what they the words that are said say the words that are said his said word his said word they are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh in my margin it says medicine his said words are life not just his words his words this Bible doesn't say anything by itself it has to be said his said words are life unto those that find them I have listen I have found that his said words are life to me this is my religion his said words are health and medicine and youth renewal and full restoration to all of my flesh what is what is the thing that I've found that his said words are to me these things is this making sense his said words well how do you get his said words you say them by saying his words they become life to you they become medicine to all your flesh they become health healing and youth renewal to all your flesh what does his said words and if his words aren't said they are not these things to you they are not found to you they have not become your religion saying his word has become my religion say that saying his word has become my religion i challenge anyone to have a problem with that i'm saying his word his word it's not my word i'm saying his word that's my religion that's how i walk with the holy ghost who is god in the earth today living god through that gives me richly all things to enjoy are you getting this is it fun yet so his said word is life to me his said word is healing health and youth renewal to me for i have found it for i have said it it becomes that to me his said word will become all of those things life healing health medicine to you too as you say them saying his word has become life to me saying his word has become my religion and how i walk with him the living god in the earth today psalms 107 verse 20 he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions he sent his word how he sent his word by saying it say he sent his word by saying it that's how you send your word you say it he sent by saying his word and it the said word healed them 
the said word delivered them the said word of god heals and the said word of god delivers if this is your religion the said word of god heals you the said word of god delivers you some people are getting this and i'm excited about it i'm worshiping him the holy ghost and i'm serving him by saying his word and his said word heals me his said word delivers me his said word prospers me his said word does whatever the said word said to me for i have found it living god gives me richly all things to enjoy by this same method what is my religious experience that whatever it is that i said that becomes my religious experience proverbs 10 verse 22 the blessing of the lord it makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it a blessing is literally saying something good over someone so when it says the blessing of the lord it is the saying of things over of the lord it makes rich the saying of the lord makes me rich the said words of the lord make me rich are you getting this when the words of the lord are said they make me the thing said that is my religion i am made something i wasn't before by the speaking forth of the word of the lord are you getting this i live this i do this follow me or not this is my religion the speaking forth makes me something something new something i wasn't before and i worship him because of it are you here let's just assume this that you found this out like i have that the speaking forth of the words of the holy ghost what he's already said makes you something that thing said there it said rich and you found it out that speaking forth those things makes you rich makes you healed like the other verse said wouldn't you adopt this that i'm saying as your religion wouldn't you worship him the holy ghost the living god and let him give you richly all things to enjoy i have and i do thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only serve god is a spirit and they that worship him god the spirit must worship him in spirit and by speaking truth this has become my religion and i'm convinced it's becoming yours too holy ghost i thank you for blessing these people opening their ears to see and understand and hear truth like they've never heard it before and begin to walk with you the living god is god in the earth today and as they do says the spirit of the lord they shall begin to experience richly all things to enjoy things they could not know before they began worshiping the living god we worship you holy ghost in jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost you are the living god i worship you and i speak in agreement holy with your word god, and as i speak those things begin to take place Holy and come Ghost to pass in my life. I am made rich, no sorrow added. Holy
I have abundance and no lack I worship you Holy Ghost in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God